motions for navigating through the sea. Paul is going to replicate that to show you. So there he is walking through the environment. Okay, Paul's in the hydra. He can't. He's in the rift. He can't see his fingers. But um, there he is. So <laughs> this is Paul the Light. He's MakeVR. He's the head developer for MakeVR. Over here we have Glenn. He's the director of QA and test at Six Sense. So, so there's Paul. I'll scale back so we can see Paul. And, um, and the two cursors you see there, these are my hands. Paul has his hands attached to him. And although there's a slight disconnect between my hands and the screen, basically, when Paul looks at his hands with the rift on, he's seeing those cursors exactly where his hand is. So Paul, you can just walk around a bit. There he is, just walking away from the <laughs> Now when he rotates, he just spins himself around. Now the cool part is he can scale himself up or down at that same scale. So there you see how, how huge he can become, you know, to working, you know, at a macro level again, to shrinking himself down and to follow him down. <laughs> um, shrinking himself really tight. Okay, so Glenn, where's Glenn? Glenn's hiding here also. Where's Glenn's hiding in the Swiss cheese case somewhere. Oh, there, okay, wait, let's go find Glenn. Okay, then he likes to hide. Okay, there is Glenn. Okay, so why don't you wave at everybody? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Glenn. I'm very small. Okay. Okay, so, while, while you guys were enjoying yourself with this, I mean, this, I want to point out that this is actually the first professional grade modeling tool that has a collaborative nature to it. There's been a lot of collaborative modeling environments. Minecraft Creative, Second Life had, you know, you could create content in Second Life, work with primitives, build models, etc. But this, again, is built upon an industry standard professional CAD engine. So it allows people to come in and do real 